Chequemus Center is an overnight field school and ecological reserve in Paradise Valley near Squamish, British Columbia. We're proudly celebrating 50 years of connecting people with nature through education and conservation. We're here at Chequemus Center in front of a very nice project we're working on, uh, renovating a cabin where kids uh, spend the night when they come to outdoor school. Um, it's a very exciting opportunity for the Zero Energy Buildings Learning Center because we are actually delivering a five-day course that we would deliver normally in a classroom at BCIT, but we're doing it on a real uh, building. We are very grateful that um, the uh, Dennis and Phyllis Washington Foundation agreed to, uh, to work on this project with us. And we've been doing this for about uh, five days now and, and, and you know, three days of classroom, two days of prep preparation. So it's been pretty amazing on this site and I'd like to do a land acknowledgement and thank the Squamish Nation and Tooth for allowing us to have this opportunity to work with the outdoor school on their unceded territory. Um, it's pretty special to, to learn about the children that come here and the turnaround of how many students have used the cabin in the past and are going to further be able to use these cabins for a long-term sustainability. Well, when this idea of upgrading these cabins first came up, uh, we always had a, an intention of doing a deep energy retrofit. And it just seemed like a perfect fit to have some students looking at the project, working on the project. And with recent advances in near net zero uh, thinking with buildings, it just seemed like the right time to do it. And so it's amazing to see that idea come full circle now and to see the students on site, to see them installing the equipment and the materials and really being part of the site in a very hands-on way. Um, we like to further education whenever possible, so this was really the perfect fit for Inatech being community-based education, two different schools. We have three students from the North Vancouver School District up here, uh, one from Eslahan and two from Mountainside, and uh, they're totally enjoying this experience. Well, up in Burns Lake, we never see this kind of stuff. Uh, the envelope, the durability of keeping the air in, and just wrapping, wrapping the house properly. I currently work at um, For My Nation uh, as the asset assistant, and um, this course came up, and um, my manager thought it would be cool if uh, I attended. The Squamish First Nation has been totally supportive. Uh, they brought in their, their elders uh, to, well, to entertain, not only entertain, because we're singing, we're dancing, we're, we're having fun, as I said, but we're also learning about the First Nations culture, which is pivotal. The thing I like about high performance buildings is we can bring this back up to Burns Lake and use the same system as they do down here in Squamish or anywhere. This has been a great opportunity for me just to get outside of the custom home building world and really have a feel good moment of giving back. Uh, being a Hoilitzam First Nation and Haida First Nation member and having the chance to work with First Nations youth that is going to bring this technology back to their communities, spread the influence of high performance building just to really upload all that information to the youth because it's really going to be passed on to many generations just like this cabin for all the kids. Mm -hmm.